Hey guys, what's good? It's uh, Triple J Boxing here. And uh, today I want to talk about Canelo versus Charlo, Jermel Charlo. And um, there was a recent interview that one of their common opponents um, did what he thought about the fight and who would win. And out of all their opponents, there's one guy that has faced them both. Only one. And I was actually kind of, I, I was surprised by that. But that man is Austin Trout. And, uh, yeah, I, I did forget that they both fought him. I know because Canelo fought him so long ago. And I do remember uh, that that fight was close, I what I remembered. I know Trout was doing very well in that fight, what I remember. And then Canelo, I think, landed a right, straight right on him. And, he, and then he, he got the Bambi legs, I remember. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I think that's what happened. And with Charlo, I kind of forget how that fight went, to be honest. I'd have to go back. I kind of forgot how that fight went, but... That was a majority decision win for Charlo. See, I've never been like a huge fan of Charlo. Not to say like I don't like the guy. But I've never like... There's been fight, a lot of fights that I've missed of his. Because it's just... It's never intrigued me, his fights. Like his opponents have never really intrigued me. And even the way he got in undisputed, really. Like... He never really undisputed with really big names. So... Yeah, I never, I don't, to be honest, guys, I don't, I forget if I even seen the trout fight. I might have, but I might have just forgot. Um, but anyway, what does Trout think about this fight? So he gave an interview and he said that uh, a lot of people are giving Canelo a great advantage in this fight and he doesn't agree with that he thinks it's closer than people think and I kind of I kind of do agree with Trout um I think that there's a lot of factors pl at play here like yes like I said Charlo is undisputed at 154 but who did he really beat right he didn't really beat obviously he beat the, all the guys that were there right that he could like uh, Erickson, Lubin, Austin Trout, Tony Harrison, um, Castano. Those are among his best wins right there. But really, when I name those those wins, they're actually not that impressive, right? He's beat Gabriel Rosado uh, a while ago, 2014. Um, yeah, so, like, he's faced guys with names, right? Like, B-level fighters, in my opinion, a lot of these guys. Like, they're known guys, but they're not, like, killers. Like, what? Like let's just say what Terrence Crawford just did. He beat Errol Spence. He beat Sean Porter. Um, he beat, um, who else? Kel Brook. Like, these are, like, not B-level fighters. These are, like, these were killer, killers at one point. Like, I know, like, Sean Porter wasn't, like... I don't mean killers like knockout artists, but they were, like... They were the top of their game. You could say Errol Spence was a killer, though, but I'm saying, like... They were above the B-level fighters, in my opinion. Which these guys, a lot of them aren't. Um, but, yeah, back to the topic. So, I kind of agree with, with Trout in saying that. Because if you look at Canelo's previous fights... He really hasn't looked that good, to be honest, um, in my opinion. Um, if you look at, let's just say we go back to, he fought John Ryder, okay. He got a decision there. But a lot of people thought he was just going to get Ryder out of there. He still, he got the win. But the Gennady Golovkin third fight, a lot of people thought he should have did better than he, what he did. And he was, it was weird because the older man, Gennady Golovkin, was coming on late in that fight. And a lot of people just picked Canelo to knock out Triple G because Triple G's old. And that wasn't, that didn't happen. The Dimitri Bivol fight, I think it was just a product of Bivol being too good for him. 
But when you kind of see that fight and then you look at the Golovkin fight, you start to wonder, is he starting to decline a little bit there, right? Um, when he's not knocking the guy out, he's losing he's losing rounds, guys. Like, he's not throwing enough and landing enough. And he's, he's prone to losing rounds, so... Um, and then you got Charlo on the other hand. He's been on a knockout streak. He knocked out the Castano rematch. He got the knockout. Rosario, he got the knockout. Tony Harrison, he got the knockout. Kota, he got the knockout. Um, so he's been getting the knockouts pretty much. And obviously these guys aren't... Like, Canelo would probably destroy all these guys, let's be honest, right? Um he would probably knock these guys out. But it's like, and now these guys are on the level of like Canelo's opponents, but still, sometimes fighters rise to the occasion. And um, Charlo could rise to the occasion in this, in this instance, and he could like have the performance of a lifetime. Um, Canelo's, a lot of wear and tear on Canelo's body, right? Age-wise... I think they're both like 33, so they're both in their primes still, at the tail end, you could say, but a lot of wear and tear on Canelo, he's had a lot of fights, been fighting since like, what is it, 15 years old, uh, professionally, I think, around there, so you start to wonder, is he starting to decline? We're, we're going to definitely find out something in this fight, I know... Um, so Trout is saying he fought both of them and he actually said he thought, um, he thought that Austin or he thought, uh, sorry, Charlo was the stronger of the two when he fought both of them. And I kind of, I don't kind of, I take this as a grain of salt guys, because when Trout fought Canelo, he was a lot smaller. It was at 154. When Canelo was at 154. And, um, like, Canelo was not the same fighter he is today. Like, he's a lot better today. Even if he is declining now, he's still a lot better than when he was, when Canelo was like 22 at that point, I think. He was still really green, and you could tell he went into the Mayweather fight after that fight, I think, and he just got outclassed, like, lost every round. So, I, I don't think he's... I think he's telling the truth and saying that Charlo felt like he was the better fighter. Or the stronger fighter, sorry. Because Charlo fought Trout in 2018. So that's a big difference. That's a five-year age gap when he fought Charlo. Charlo was a lot more experienced and um, at that weight. And he wasn't green. He was uh, around 28 years old, I think, when he fought Trout. So he was peaking into his prime, whereas Canelo wasn't, so I kind of, I, I don't agree that Charlo is the stronger fighter now, which he still could be the stronger guy, you don't know, like, we don't know his athletic um, abilities, right, um, like, sometimes the guy that looks stronger isn't, right, so it's hard to really say, um, who's going to be the stronger one in there. Um, but this is just what Trout was saying. But I, I think I think Canelo is a lot stronger now. Um, yeah, so he, he also thinks that Charlo coming up in weight will be um, more beneficial, which it always is. But I found it interesting that he said he said this. He says he's probably coming down from around 200 I'm guessing if he's coming down from 200 that is just terrible for your body um I don't think he's weighing 200 if he is that he's not taking care of himself well he's partying or drinking I don't, I don't know I know one of them is he the brother that likes drinking I forget now one of the I know one of the brothers likes drinking maybe both but they show up drunk to the fight sometimes. So if that's him, maybe that's possible that he's coming at 200 outside of camp. But there's no way you should weigh that. Like, I would guess 180 
to 190 at most. But I'm going to say like around 180 is what he probably is walking around at. Um, but for you guys that who follow him more, let me know. Is this correct? Is Does he walk around around 200? Um, I found that hard to believe. And um, yes, yeah, so we, we know that Charlo dropped him twice. Canelo dropped him once, uh, Austin Trout. But he still he still thinks though that Canelo will have the the huge advantage if he stands toe to toe for him. So he is um, admitting that Canelo he's very explosive with his punches and you don't want to stand in front of him. And he thinks Charlo is strong, but he has to be more. Um, it's better if he moves around and boxes more and, and stays on the outside. Um, so, which I agree with. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I really think it's interesting to see what he what he was saying, um, what he remembers. Obviously, he, he's the only man to have fought both of them. So, it is interesting to hear his take on things. The only problem with it is um, one of them is... One of them he fought in 2013, one of them he fought in 2018, which is a huge difference. Um, Canelo has changed totally, and I would say Charlo has probably gotten a little bit better experience-wise, but Charlo, when he faced Trout, was probably more closer to the height of his prime than Canelo was when he was green, so... Um, let me know what you guys think about what Trout thinks. Um, he's he's gonna he's running with uh, he's hoping Charlo wins for the upset, and he wouldn't be surprised if Charlo wins. Um, he thinks they're giving uh, Canelo a little too much credit here, going into this fight, or, or a little too heavy odds. I mean, for that. So, well, guys, we'll find out, right? September thirtieth, I. Looking forward to it, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This is Triple J Boxing. Take care.